Yeah, I've, I've got to say that Rob Zabo thoroughly deserved that set. It wasn't because Phil Taylor was missing umpteen amounts of doubles. He just wasn't sticking with his man and wasn't he wasn't making Rob miss, was he? We finishes of 128, 96. 105 and 90. He won the set. And if Rob Zabo continues to take out big finishes, you've got to think that the unthinkable could happen. Look, upsets happen in sport. Things happen. 87. It has to start somewhere. Is, is this the start of it? But for me, from the second leg onwards, we alluded to the fact, didn't we, that Phil Taylor was lacking on He was lacking that... He was lacking that little bit of fight. He was lacking that that focus he normally has. And Rob Zabo, to his credit, took advantage. Good luck to him. 137. Well, another great visit from the Kiwi. And Phil Taylor's in a match here. And that was no doubt. And that won't help when the, the dark goes above the bed because Taylor will have to run down for cover. 95. The switch to treble 19 is successful. And during the break, Phil Taylor was kept on stage practicing. Just looked a bit shell shocked, to be honest. He, sometimes he, he can wind himself up by making a, a bit of a deal of it, but he wasn't. Just accepted what's happened and Phil was getting on with it. Huge set of darts coming up. 97. Robbie Ubois, 137. Zabo was 25 to 1 at the start of the match, now 14 to 1. Phil Taylor was 250 to 1 on at the start. Ninety-nine. Now we require 113. Whoa. 28 left. I don't know what Zabo was doing going for 60. Now 16 for tops. This has to go. 73. Whoa. Overzealous shoots with the bicep. To break the Taylor throw. Gears on the first leg. To break the Taylor throw. Second leg is Rob to throw first. Well, Game on. You don't need me to tell you that Phil Taylor looked concerned. Not only is that losing the leg, that is a break of throw. If Rob Zarbo continues to hit doubles with the regularity that he's hitting them right now, Philip 99. Taylor is in big trouble. Rob Zarbo does not care what he's doing. He, he, so what? He, he doesn't care whether he's beating Phil Taylor or not. He's just playing. 92. Well, important last start from Philip Taylor. Got it all to do in a real match. A real match. No one, and I mean no one, could have or did predict. 97. This in any way, shape, or form, way. Oh, I did. I don't know. Of course, I. Of course, I didn't. And there we see. Five points, four points to the good. Now the average for Zabo. 100. Well, we, we had heard some good reports, Stuart, didn't we? That that Rob Zabo can can play. Well, you you you've been speaking to the Anderson brothers, the Australians, who who know him very well. They were saying that this guy was, was banging in 12 darts for fun in practice just last night. And I'm not saying we're seeing 12 darters, but a 95 average is world class. Let's not get away from that. L let's not do... 94. Let's not do Rob, Rob Zarbo a, a disservice here. He's playing world class darts. And what he's doing, he's making Phil Taylor miss. Taylor's in trouble here. He's in massive trouble here. Trouble 10, leaves 32. He knows that. 130. Got it all to do. The greatest of them all has got it all to do. 
100. Eric Bristow at the top of the show was saying we won't see upsets. We won't see upsets. The tops for 2 0 in the second set and a set to the good. Does he go right? Does he go left? 32. This has got Going to go, one, Phil. Looking at 57. Is this where it all changes? Tops for Taylor. Sabo missing two at tops. Taylor seven. takes out 115 and breathes a huge, seven. huge sight of relief. Rob Zabo of New Zealand, a total unknown coming into this tournament, missed two darts at tops to go two up in the second set. It could make all the difference. 135. Was that the typical Taylor that we know? Or was it just a, a, a brilliant lead time shot? Rob Zabo does not care. He's playing Phil Taylor, he's having the game of his life. And he bends in a 180. And now he's 7 to 1 to beat the great man. He's having the time of his life. 97. The game of his life, the night of his life. And it's not over. You see him annoyed and winced. That 115 though from Taylor. 80 could be absolutely massive two dart smiths for two nil in this set but two dart smith for what would have been a fifth consecutive leg taylor won the opening leg of the match zarbo won the next four people are sitting around the tvs thinking am i really witnessing this uh, an unknown, an unknown. Given the greatest darts player, one of the greatest sportsmen, forget darts player, that's ever lived, given him such a torrid time. 59. He's making him miss. He's making him miss. Dear, oh dear, what's happening here? Well. 134. That was disappointing. We were looking for the 25. Well, Taylor took out 115 in the last leg and he had to. Now he's got 114 here and he's got to take this out. If he misses this, if he misses this, well, that yeah, was just absolutely Luzana. incredible. 115 well, in the previous the leg to get himself out of trouble. 114 finish to get himself out of trouble again and let's be honest he hasn't been playing well to do that is incredible well he, he, in those two legs 38 he may well have saved himself Zabo again was sat on 47 and as you said that would have been a break of throw and the Kiwi would have been coming back here throwing for the set has the game changed 99. Has there been a huge shift? Is Taylor now up for it? Because I tell you what, in that first set, he didn't look up for it to me. I think he's angry now with, with the way he's playing, possibly, and, and that is firing him on. As Zabo realised, perhaps 27. Now, well, to kick off 38 27 against anyone, especially in a situation he's in, it's a darting disaster for Zabo. The world will seem a different place to Philip Douglas Taylor now as he pushes on to win the second set rather than to keep alive in it. 125. There's his support. Zarbo's not alone here. This is now typical Taylor. This is what he does. The 115 was brilliant. The 114 finish was just miraculous. And a smile. We just see the smile. But Taylor here looking like levelling the match.
121. He's turned it around in this set. What an effort from Zabo. Double 16 for an 11 data. 12. Yeah, 12 data. That is the set. We now have a level game. It wasn't looking like that, was it? Well, he's saying what was going on. Uh, anyway, Phil, it's one set. Oh, you're not two down. Rob Zarvo is in this. There's only a point in the averages. There's nothing between them.